Welcome to Fun with Drilling Engineering. About 165 years ago, there was a king of Hanover who wanted to know if mineable lignite deposits were available in his kingdom. Therefore, he commissioned a scientist named Professor Huneos with the search and mapping of such occurrences. Professor Huneos that we see here, among other places, also came close to Sele, more precisely in the small village of Witze. This place was known for its natural tar pits. The professor thought because of the chemical relationship between tar and coal, it might be promising to start some coal exploration there. This is why in 1858, he drilled a 35-meter deep borehole. Well, he did not find brown coal, but he accidentally came across good petroleum. So in this respect, this became the first German oil well. He took, however, 20 more years until the petroleum boom started in Witze. Afterwards, a big petroleum industry developed around there. Around 2,000 wells were drilled, of which 1,600 found oil. When the oil wells no longer produced by themselves because the pressure of the reservoir had decreased, the miners took over and recovered the oil from the underground mines. The golden days of the flourishing oil and gas industry in Vise lasted until the 1960s. Today, only the emblem of Witzer reminds us of those days, and of course, the German Petroleum Museum. This petroleum museum is well worth seeing. And now, we want you to get a little impression of it. So here you go with a short movie. So here we are now in Witzer, and the river that flows through the village is called Witze, just like the village itself. The drilling rig of the museum is not far off, as you can see from the street. Here we have the German Petroleum Museum. It looks small from the outside, but it has a lot of attractive stuff inside. You can see here in the hall, lots of rare exhibits and model drilling rigs. You can perform some experiments yourself and admire many important objects from the Witze oil and gas age. Even more interesting views are found outside, with many exhibits still at their original location as they were used earlier in the oil and gas industry. For example, this old oil tank was used earlier at this same spot. This huge drilling rig is being restored from top to bottom for the museum's 50th anniversary. Everything is being made beautiful again and soon it will be possible to climb up the rig 10 meters high. Most of the exhibits can also be switched on, especially on guided tours. The guides are always happy to switch it on for you. It is particularly exciting to look out for the many boreholes that can be found on this site. We mentioned already that there were about 2,000 boreholes. Many of them are now mapped and covered with red leads, as you can see. It's like looking for Easter eggs. The wells are everywhere on the site. In the checkout area at the end of the tour, you can find excellent literature about petroleum engineering and history of Witzer oil and gas field. The German Petroleum Museum in Witzer is always worth a trip. It recently celebrated its 50th anniversary and there is a new homepage you can check out. You should check it out. I highly recommend for you to go in and take a look not just within the museum but also outside the museum with guide tours not only in the museum, but also even in the village of Witzer. During such a tour, you can find historical sites at their original locations. You will not only learn about technology, but also find information about the people that worked in the oil industry in Witzer, who sometimes still live there. 
There are also cultural events like Rock at the Rig, which hopefully will take place again soon. We usually visit Vitsay's surroundings with our students as part of our lecture, Basics of Drilling Engineering, if possible, every year. And so, we look forward to seeing you here in Freiburg, in our lecture. Look off.